Let's talk about how to multiply by 101. We'll start with how to multiply 101 by one digit numbers, then move to two digit numbers, and lastly three digit numbers. Let's say we have 101 times 7. All we have to do is write the 7 in place of the 1s. So our answer will be 707. Let's say we have 101 times 9. Again, we will write the 9 in the place of the 1s. So all we have to do is write 909. What about two digit numbers? Let's say we have 101 times 98. For two digit numbers, all we have to do is write the two digit number twice. So we have 98, 98. That's it. It's a really straightforward trick. But it gets a little bit more complicated when we get to three digit numbers. Let's look at an example. Let's say we have 101 times 103. When we have a three digit number, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the last two digits, so that's zero and three, and then those will be the last two digits of our final answer. Then we will add the one and the three, that's four, and then we will write these two digits, so we'll write 10. And this is our final answer. Multiplying by one to one really isn't that hard. Let's look at one more example. Let's say we have 101 times 123. Again, we're going to write the last two digits, so that's 23. Then we're going to add these two, so 1 plus 3 is 4. And then we're going to write these two digits, so that's 12. This is our final answer. Let's look at an example in which we have to carry. Let's say we have 101 times 839. Again, the steps are the same. First, we write the last two digits, so that's 39. Then we add the 8 and the 9, which will give us 17. But only one number can go here, so we'll write the 7 and we'll carry the 1. So, let's write 7. Then we have to put these two numbers. 83 plus the carried 1 will give us 84. So this is our final answer. This trick can be a little bit complicated sometimes, so this requires a lot of practice. I've linked the practice worksheet and its answers in the comments section, so make sure to go check those out.